All right, so we know what side to start on. So there are five strategies. We already started on the easy side. That's out. Can I write in terms of sines and cosines? It's already done. So the other three strategies, I believe each one leads to, or can lead to the other side. So you can go any of the three ways. So the three things are add common uh, fraction with common denominator. That should be pretty obvious what that is here, one minus cos. Uh, I could, it's a little harder to see factoring. We have to do a little bit of trig work first before we could factor. Uh, so that's another option, but it's not really obvious to factor right now. So most people aren't going to do that. What is the other strategy you could do? Conjugate over conjugate. And what's our conjugate here? One plus cos theta. theta. So that's my other option. So let's go add fractions with common denominator. That's a classic move. Doesn't require any trig whatsoever. So we got sine squared over 1 minus cos theta minus. So we got 1 times 1 minus cos theta, 1 minus cos theta. So I just turned 1 into a common denominator, 1 minus cos theta. Now I can subtract very easily. We get sine squared theta minus 1 minus cos theta over 1 minus cos theta. So here is a very common mistake people make. I sort of subtracted. What did I do wrong? You didn't distribute into the yeah, it sh I should either. I'm going to go with the parentheses right here instead. So I either have to use parentheses or distribute my negative to both the 1 and the minus cos theta. All right, let's start with our first wrong move. Why do, they're the same term. Why do they not cancel? Because we're using addition subtraction, not multiplication. So the reason they're not going to cancel is because that is a minus sign. If it was a plus sign, it wouldn't cancel either. So that needs to be a multiplication. So right here, we'll write down uh, what you shouldn't do. So our bad algebra. So it's not equal to A. So I can't just cancel my Bs like that. So that's some bad math right there. Uh, what I actually did, so B over B is 1. This is what I actually did right there. I went from the left to the right. So that one's OK, but the other part's definitely not. So we saw what not to do there. What should I do on this step, or what could I do? Damn. Trying to get my pen out. Come on. What can I do here? It's tempting to cancel them, but it's wrong. So I can't do that. Substitute sine squared theta for 1 minus cosine. So we're going to have to, I see my answer is cos, so it better not have any signs in it. So if I, the faster I get out of signs, the better. So let's go ahead. Sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. When it looks like this, it's probably super tempting to cancel 1 minus cos with 1 minus cos. But again, we can't do it because for the exact same reason, they're subtracted. All right, so we can't just cancel things out. I can cancel something out. What is that something? How about 1 minus 1? That'll cancel out to 0. So I can cancel those 1s. Now we have negative cos squared theta minus a negative or plus cos theta over 1 minus uh, 
All right, let me do some more bad stuff. So why is that bad? I'm using addition and canceling in a fraction. So that's, again, bad. So you don't want to cancel addition in fractions. So I'm not going to rewrite in red. Oh, come on. I'm not going to rewrite in red the wrong, this exact same wrong thing as before. What can I do instead? Factor cosine. Factor cosine. So we factor a cosine out. So we're going to have cos theta, negative cos theta plus 1. And of course, negative cos theta plus 1 is, you could rewrite as 1 minus cos theta. So finally, the 1 minus cos theta is going to cancel the 1 minus cos theta. Why is it OK to cancel them here? Because they're being multiplied. So there's a multiplication. You can put a multiplication symbol right there. We're multiplying cosine times the factor we're canceling with the denominator. So at this point, and I'll write over here, this is the good math. So there we go. A times B over B is A. So the B cancels the divided by B. And we have cos theta. So you also want to be careful the way you're writing. You do not have an infinitely long piece of paper like I do. I can keep scrolling down. Well, I probably couldn't go forever, but I could probably go well over 50 pages down, I'm sure. Uh, you don't have infinite pa pages. Even if you have a whole blank paper, eventually you may run out of room. So what do you do when you run out of room? If you didn't, could, couldn't keep going down like this in the same direction, what you want to do is start back up the top, and you have your equations written like this. So you want to think you're writing in columns. So you run out of space in your first column, go to your second column, go to your third column. And a lot of times it's good to draw an arrow just so I know, oh, this is the last step, and it connects back to the first step over here. Because a lot of times we'll start writing things like uh, a, over, a times b over b equals a. That doesn't really have anything to do with directly what I just wrote on the board. So you don't want to start mixing around all these things. Um, you want to make sure that the person who's grading this understands what you're doing. Otherwise, you're not going to get the points for what you're doing. So I said there's multiple ways to prove this identity. So this will be, let's write 1a, and we'll go 1b for the next solution. So some of you flipped over and looked at the cheat sheet on the back, and you saw somewhere sine squared. There's a way to write sine squared as 1 minus cos 2 theta over 2. So this is true is equal, but the problem is we just introduced a 2 theta. And there's no 2 theta on the right side. So there's really, we have to do some trig identities on this page again to get out of having 2 theta. So that's not going to be easy. So this is an OK move. I'm not going to, it's not wrong. It's just not going to get us to cosine theta. If I was going for something with cos 2 theta, that's a different story. But I need something with just cos theta. So that's not really going to help us get any closer to that. So I said we can factor and cancel, but you can't factor yet. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. So sine squared theta is 1 minus cos squared theta. I'm going to use this identity on sine squared. So. It's very tempting to cancel 1 minus cos squared theta with 1 minus cos theta and just be left with something. 
I can't cancel these because this one's squared and the other one's not. So they're not going to cancel out. However, I can factor. So this is conjugate right here, difference of squares. 1 or 1 squared minus cos squared. So that's 1 minus cos times 1 plus cos. So from here, all I do is cancel 1 minus cos, 1 minus cos. And that's completely OK because we're multiplying in the numerator. We're not adding anymore or subtracting. So I got, because this is a product right here, I can now cancel 1 minus cos, 1 minus cos. We got 1 plus cos theta minus 1. 1 minus 1 cancels. And we just have cos theta. And that is what we are looking for. This one was less obvious, unless you've been doing math since last millennium, because you have to first make a weird trig uh, substitution. You have to turn sine theta into 1 minus cos, or sine squared theta into 1 minus, it's turning sine squared theta into 1 minus cos squared theta. So that's not obvious to see. And then you have to factor it. So most of you probably didn't go this way right here. Let's look at the last way that, at least the last way that I did it. So we got conjugate. 1 minus cos theta is conjugate 1 plus cos theta. So we're going to multiply by 1 plus cos theta divided by 1 plus cos theta. So I'm multiplying by the conjugate here, but why is this illegal? Now I got the minus 1 there. So what is illegal about the multiplication I just did? What is the only thing I'm ever allowed to multiply by in identity? 1. one. Does that equal 1? Nope. So how do you make it 1? Numerator, denominator have to match. So now we got multiplying by 1. So now I believe that they're actually equal. So we got 1 right here. Now you can distribute your non-conjugate, which is in the numerator, but I recommend you don't because you're going to have to usually cancel that. So just distribute your conjugate on the bottom. So we got sine squared theta times 1 plus cos theta divided by. Now I'm going to FOIL the conjugate, but conjugates are just first term squared minus second term squared, a squared minus b squared. So we got 1 squared minus cos squared. So algebra won't save you here. You really have to use the uh, trig identity. 1 minus cos squared is sine squared. So we know that identity right here. 1 minus cos squared. So we're looking right here. 1 minus cos squared is sine squared. So we're going to use that identity. So we got 1 minus cos squared is sine squared. So that's sine squared theta. And now I can cancel sine squared sine squared because it's a product. It's not addition subtraction anymore. So sine squared cancels sine squared. We got 1 plus cos minus 1, which is just cosine theta. So these are the main three ways to get to the answer. Now, there are infinite ways to prove an identity. Realistically, there's probably three or four different ways maximum that a group of 30 people will take to get there. Uh, if you think that you deserve more points than I gave you, you're more than welcome to uh, talk to me. My policy is you have to talk to me within two by the second day after. So you have all day today, all day tomorrow, uh, to come talk to me if you don't like your, the way I graded your quiz. There are times where I don't see some steps or 
Um, things may have been so messy that I didn't understand what you were doing, and there may be something correct in there, but it's written around all this other stuff that doesn't really make sense. You're like, oh, look, I actually did some stuff in the middle that was worth a point. Uh, and sometimes I will uh, give you more points, especially if I didn't see something. All right, so that is question number one. So again, where to go for extra help? I think the best place, probably just doing the work in your book, following along with their examples, doing more practice out of your book. If you do enough identities, you'll have a feeling of when you've proved it versus when you're just making stuff up and canceling stuff that shouldn't really cancel. And you're like, oh, well, yeah, I got two coast data instead of regular coast data. Well, you can't just be close. You either got to the other side or you didn't. So you know, if you're supposed to get to coast data and you got two coast data or one plus coast data, that's not the same as coast data. So you did not. There's a really good chance that that would be worth zero points on your midterm on that question. So you want to make sure, depending on how bad your error was, or errors are determining how many points you'll be getting. So you can go back, look at the old lectures I recorded. You can go and look at lots of other people, lots of other nerds on YouTube do trig identities. I'm not the first person to post trig identity videos on YouTube. So that's the first question. What else? There's more bad math I saw. I think we'll see it in the next problem. So we'll go for problem two. And I did three solutions here also. So it should be pretty obvious the right side. That's the easy side. So we'll be working on the left side. All right, what are some strategies that'll work here, or at least a way to start off? So we can go everything in sines and cosines. So I saw some people use this non-identity. How do I make this true? Square them. So make sure if you're using identity, use it the right way. So it is not true, 1 plus tan theta is not secant theta. You can't just unsquare stuff or cube stuff because you feel like it. So 1 plus tangent squared is secant squared. 1 plus tangent is definitely not secant. So that you can't just write, uh, well, we'll just take the square out. That doesn't work. So the second one is a non-identity. So do not use that. So I can't just turn this into secant at this point. So we'll write in terms of sines and cosines. All right, multi-story fractions. Multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. What is the reciprocal of the denominator? That's the reciprocal of the denominator. It's not going to help very much to multiply by that. So yes, we need to go common denominator, at least in the denominator of this, before we can take the reciprocal of it. So you're going to have to turn on the bottom, you have to turn this, you know, a plus b into common denominator, a single fraction down here. So that's what we're going to do. So I see my sine theta is my common denominator. So we're going to get sine theta plus cos theta over sine theta. And I'm going to do the same thing on the top. Cos theta plus sine theta over cos theta. And I will use some extra parentheses here. So I'm doing the identity A over B 
plus c over d is, if I show all the intermediate steps, and I'll write it alphabetically ordered, ad plus bc over uh, bd. So that's how to add with common denominator. So hopefully this was done a long time ago, and maybe you were just a little rusty. So that's common denominator right there. So we did that. I usually go from the first step to the last step. I don't show the multiply by uh, other numerator over itself. Multiply by the other numerator over itself. You absolutely can show that step. So I skipped right to, you can see this is the cos over cos right here in the numerator. So one turned into cos over cos. And then the other one, this one in the denominator, turned into sine over sine. So this one turned into sine over sine. And so you get sine plus cos over sine right there on the left. So any questions on this right here? I am ready at this point to multiply by the reciprocal. I can reciprocate that denominator fraction. It's easy to do. Flip it over. So our numerator, cos theta plus sine theta over cos theta times, we have sine theta is our new numerator, and sine theta plus cos theta is our denominator. All right. Now I can cancel. Hey, look, sine cancels with sine. Why is that illegal? There's addition. I mean, it's sort of right. What is correct would be the entire sine plus cos, cos plus sine cancels out right there. So that is correct. So all you're looking at right here is A over B times C over A. So that's really what you're looking at right there. So it's important to know for algebra what exactly that you're looking at. And this is how your brain should parse it out. So any questions on this cancellation here? And of course, what are we left with now? We just have sine over cos. So at this point is where you start to feel very happy about where you are algebraically, because that's tangent theta, and that's the answer. So there we go, tangent theta. So any questions on this right here? So I'll show you a very similar but slightly different way you can go once you get into uh, the, our first step on the board here. So I'm going to rewrite 1 plus sine over cos. I'm going to buy 1 plus cos theta over sine theta. So there's another way to simplify this down. What I'm going to do, I see that there's a cos theta here and a sine theta here that I don't want. So what I'm going to do is multiply in the denominator, I'm going to multiply by sine theta. In the numerator, I'm going to multiply by cosine theta. Why is this illegal? It's not, one. it's not one. So how do we make it one? Just every numerator needs to appear in the denominator. So now we're multiplying by one right here. When I do this, the algebra that's really happening you have to distribute like this. So you're going to get AE plus BE over CE plus DE. So you have to take your cosine sine, the whole thing, and distribute it not just to the first term, but also the second term. You can't just distribute to one term. And same thing down here, you're going to distribute 
So what we get, we're going to get cos theta sine theta. plus coses will cancel, so we get sine squared, divided by, so we get cos theta sine theta, plus cos squared, well we solved our problem of having fractions of fractions, so at least we don't have that problem. We have some higher powers of trig functions though. What can I, algebraically, what can I do in the numerator? Can you factor out the sign? So we'll factor out a sign, and we'll do something similar in the denominator. So we got factoring out a sign, we get cos theta plus sine theta. In the denominator, we have an extra cosine hanging around, so we get sine theta plus cos theta. Now I can cancel because I have cos plus sine, cos plus sine, and they're both products. So they get to cancel out. I get sine theta over cos theta, and that is tangent theta. The last way to solve this, we'll completely avoid trigonometry altogether in this solution. So we're going to do here, cotangent theta is 1 over tangent theta. So we'll use that reciprocal identity. So we got 1 plus tan theta over 1 plus 1 over tan theta. So it's tempting to multiply by the reciprocal. However, to do that, I have to go common denominator, and then I can multiply by the reciprocal. So it's not, that's going to be a couple steps. I could go that way, but I'm going to do something slightly different. Wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have a tangent theta in our denominator of our denominator? So what I'm going to do is multiply by tan theta in our denominator. So it's going to go to both parts, not just to the first part. Now, that would be illegal unless I also treat the numerator the same way. So I'll multiply numerator by tan theta. All right, so our denominator, so we got tangent divided by tangent, we'll get a plus one. Is that right? Yeah. And then, oh no. Definitely know I have loose wires or loose screws, however that goes. Perfect. All right. And we're back. So it's very tempting in the numerator to go tan theta plus tan squared theta. What would I have to do here? Factor tangent out and then cancel it. Well, guess what factoring tangent out is going to look like the step right above us. So what I'm going to do instead is plan ahead. Maybe not something you're used to in math. So I see I had a tangent theta plus 1. Oh, I got a tangent theta plus 1 already. So let's not distribute because I see that I'm going to cancel that out. So I'm just going to leave it 1 plus tan theta times tan theta. Now I get to cancel 1 plus tangent divided by tangent plus 1. So those are going to cancel out right there. And all you're looking at is AB over A. And if you want to use extra parentheses, absolutely go for it. So I see tan theta plus 1, 1 plus tan theta, same thing. And I'm multiplying, so that's okay. Make sure your T for tangent, make sure it doesn't look like a, pl a plus, because you don't want to think it's plus and of theta.
all right? So you don't want to think of it as plus. So I get to cancel, tan, theta, and we didn't have to use any trigonometry whatsoever.